Welcome back. A new Catholic school in the historic district of Sioux Falls is welcoming in just over 60 students this year. In tonight's Eye on Kello Land, Carly Phillips tells us how the school is helping students excel in the classroom, all while using no technology. Step into St. Joseph Academy, and the only technology you'll find are a few computers in the teacher's lounge. That's because the newly opened Catholic school is choosing to go as tech-free as possible. It's also very cool to see their natural curiosities when they don't have a screen in front of them and to hear the questions that they have about real life. There are no smart boards nor tablets either. When my son learns place value at the age of four, he actually has, you know, a, a thousand and then a hundred and then a ten and then a one. So you're laying it out. It's very tactile. Um, as they get older, our math curriculum is very similar. You know, they use an abacus, so they're manipulating the things that they're learning. Um, so you're experiencing it. Sarah Hofflander says teachers also keep their computer use to a minimum. We live in the modern world where we need to send an email to parents or you know, file things online. That's part of reality. Um, but within our classrooms, we're basically limited to a CD player. Uh, so they'll listen to the great composers. Uh, we listen to songs, like songs to sing through the different events in history, um, songs to just like a lot of memory work. Less tech also means the academy can use its finances towards other things. We're not having to finance a bunch of computer labs. Definitely, you know, on a philosophical level, with a lot of technology, you're having to just keep up with the latest. Everything gets outdated super fast. Because we're classical, we actually, like, prioritize wisdom from the past. Hofflander says it has taken four years to get the school to where it is today. Many parents choose St. Joseph because of its no-technology approach, and students are liking it too. Sometimes the screen divides your attention from everything else. It starts building a wall from you in the real world. Usually you want to be on one side of the wall, not the other. And that is the side that is technology free. Thomas Mogul says technology in the classroom can be a distraction to learning. He says he enjoys being present with what is happening around him. When you think about technology, you stop thinking about the great things that are already around you, like your family and obviously books, <laughs> um, nature, just everything. You stop thinking about that and you have one main thought, screens. While school is only beginning, staff at St. Joseph Academy are looking forward to staying away from a technology-driven classroom and offering students the chance to experience learning from a different angle. With Eye on Kelloland, I'm Carly Phillips. St. Joseph Academy has kids enrolled from preschool ages all the way till 7th grade, and they meet three times a week, and parents homeschool their kids the other two. Staff says this also gives parents a chance to get involved in their child's learning.